Oh my god, listen to that. It's pulling the kayak. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Todd. I'm at Lake Norman, North Carolina for the fish feeding frenzy. This is when fish of all kinds bulk up for the winter. They all start doing this phenomenon where they push the minnows to the surface. This will continue while the water temps are at least 50 degrees or warmer. Where I'm from in Pennsylvania, water temps are way below 50 right now. So this morning I headed south. There are lots of options to find the feeding frenzy still happening in Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina different parts of the country. It's a gorgeous drive through the mountains, about a six and a half hour drive to one of my favorite places, which is Lake Norman, North Carolina. The first thing I do arriving at any one of these lakes is look for seagulls dive bombing the water. That's what will show you where the feeding frenzy is taking place. So then I put in the kayak and once I get on the, on the water like I am right now, you look straight ahead, it's happening. The seagulls I saw from shore are still showing me where the bait fish are. Lots of boaters will show up here very quickly. They just show up from everywhere. Everyone has a chance to catch fish. I'll explain more, but I'll head over there right now. Made it to the spot. Others got here first with faster boats. That doesn't matter though. I'll explain about that. I'm just casting my usual 1 8 ounce jig with a three inch Berkley bow, letting it sink to the bottom. Here's a fish. Little one. Oh, a nice little spotted bass. Look at that beautiful fish. So this tells me there's probably also hybrids here too. They're all pushing the bait fish to the surface. Speaking of bait fish, look what popped out of its mouth when I caught it. Berkeley gulp on top, bait fish from the lake on the bottom. All right, next cast. Hopefully it will be for a giant hybrid that will run out the line and pull the kayak. Another one, small, but it's a good sign though, because the seagulls left, a lot of the fishermen left, probably way too soon. It tells me there are still fish here. Another pretty looking fish, not what I'm here for. So the hybrids swim through these schools with their mouths open and they eat a bunch of the minnows, but they also stun and kill a bunch, which end up at the bottom. I, that's why I let this thing sink to the bottom and that's why it's okay to be late to one of these little parties on the water because the feeding is still happening. Another one, small, all right, we're getting there. Nice little white perch. All right, process of elimination due for a hybrid here. Oh, another fish, not running drag, not big, but it tells me the fish are still going after the injured bait fish at the bottom that I'm imitating, barely moving the jig. All right, running out of daylight soon, but I'm not giving up. I've caught everything but a hybrid. Well, that's a fish, solid one. Yes, stay on. Come on, come on, come on. It's not spinning like a catfish. Come on, get in here. Get in here. <gasps> no! Oh, he got off. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm here for one more day, so tomorrow morning I'm gonna head back here, try to catch that one I lost or one like it. See what we can do. Check out how peaceful this is. 
So no seagulls this morning, no evidence of any kind of feeding frenzy. You can look for minnows too coming to the surface even without the birds. I'm not seeing any of that right now. So I'm looking for drop-offs where the minnows are most likely to be, and I systematically try each depth. So I'll try from 50 to 60 feet. If I don't find anything there, I go from 40 to 50, and then 30 to 40, until I find the depth where I catch that first fish, because that's where the minnows are going to be comfortable. A three-degree change in water temperature will kill them, so they're still looking for the depth where they're comfortable, and that's where the fish are feeding, even if the minnows are not in schools. No fish in the 40 to 50 or 60 foot depth, so I'm going to try from 30 to 40 feet. Oh, that's a fish. Good one. I was barely moving the jig, letting it sit on the bottom. Gave it a slight, maybe a half crank, and then a pause. All right, come on, get in the net. Yes, finally. Oh, look at that. That's exactly what I came here for. Hybrid bass with the broken stripes. Beautiful fish. And I'll put uh, links below in the description to how to find free depth maps for any lake and also to the jigging techniques I use uh, on this trip. Look at that, just from the drop-offs. I haven't even found the feeding frenzy today yet. So no more fish on that drop off, but check out up there. I don't know if the GoPro will pick up the seagulls in the distance, but it's starting again. We've been gone for so long, but nothing now can keep us down. Yeah, we're back on track and we're on the is one keep our eyes on the setting sun yeah we're on our way and we're making way gonna seize the day yeah, yeah. we've been waiting for this now our time is gone gonna rise up again now our kingdom come all right clouds are coming in a little bit wind is picking up a lot of the boaters left, but I still see opportunities here. I'm gonna keep fishing, try to make up for that one I lost yesterday. Fish on. Oh my God, listen to that. Another run. Got one. Yeah. I just want to see if this is a catfish. It's coming up. Oh, maybe not. Uh, a few weeks ago, I caught a really nice catfish here, about 15 pounds. I did a separate video about that. This one's fighting like a hybrid, though. Let's see it. Let me see you. Oh, yeah, that's a nice hybrid. It's not huge, it's fighting like a monster. Come on, stay on. It's like the one yesterday, just staying just out of the reach of the net. Beautiful fish. Like I said, not the biggest fish I've caught, but great fight. Let's get a measurement on this. Just over 20 inches, technically a keeper, but we're going to toss this one back. Look at that chunky fish.
that's gonna do it for this video. So much fun, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the aerial footage, slow motion footage. If you've not become a subscriber, please consider doing so. Please also leave a comment if there's some lake you'd like me to try or some technique that you used, and I will see you on the next adventure.